And I'm Dave Malkoff, live at the Incident Command Center for the Black Forest Fire. We're talking almost 500 homes that have burned, two people who have died, and almost 25 square miles. This is a huge fire. This is weekend now, it's Sunday morning, it's Father's Day, and it all begins right now. We welcome you to Weekend Now on this Father's Day 2013 and all of our best to the dads out there. I'm Kyla Grogan. And I'm Jennifer Lopez. Thanks so much for joining us. <laughs> I have goosebumps and I'm shaking because, I don't know, I mean, people feel like there's nothing you can do and the littlest things help. Those words from just one of the grateful residents, and you can see there are many of them, of Colorado Springs. Dozens of them came out yesterday to thank firefighters who've worked so hard to save their homes and neighborhoods. Authorities now say the giant wildfire is in Black Forest is 55% contained. This is great news. Some mandatory evacuations have been lifted. The Black Forest fire is 20 miles north of Colorado Springs, and our Dave Malkoff is there, and he has the very latest. He's been covering the story, and Dave, you know, great to hear that they're getting their arms around this fire, but it doesn't mean that people can go back to their homes necessarily today, right? No, nobody's going back to their homes. We can hear those people cheering. They're right at the end of the block. And as you saw, they were very excited to see these firefighters coming in here. But uh, people can't get into their neighborhoods, and here is why. Smoldering like an unattended barbecue, the fire that burned more homes to the ground than any other in Colorado's history could easily flare back up. Uh, my name is Madonna Lingrick and I've been in the wildfire business for 33 years. Madonna's Idaho-based team commands these 800 field crews Holding. who make sure it stays out. All clear. So right now, all these uh, thousands and thousands of acres is this. This is the fire. That is the fire right now. Believe it or not, it's these still hot sticks and stumps that are keeping the residents out of the burned neighborhoods. There is fire hidden deep inside these towering ponderosa pines. You'll notice that the smoke is coming up the side there, and so you can tell that this, it's probably burning clear up into here. So, right you so you can have lots of trees around here that are on fire and you wouldn't even know because they're burning on the inside. And that's what the firefighters are gritting for. South Dakota's Bear Mountain hand crew used their bare hands to dig for underground fire. With the gloves on, I can't feel the heat. They are risking third degree burns here, scraping in the ash. If there's too much heat, then you have to get water. Just down the street, high voltage poles burned as well. It's tricky business, surgically removing one pole without snagging down the whole lot. At the end of the day, there is a bit of good news on these blackened streets. The good news is we didn't lose any more land and we did not lose any more structures. So it's encouraging to see that taking place. As for the cause of this fire, they're saying it's definitely caused by someone, by a human. It wasn't a natural disaster like a lightning strike, but they're not sure if this was accidental or set on purpose, you guys. All right, thank you so much. Dave Malkoff reporting. And you know, we, the weather.